Hey everyone, Chef Anthony here at Don's Appliance. Today we're talking about pizza ovens. Most importantly, some of the some of the common mistakes that you make with your pizza oven. We're going to try and correct them, kind of show you, you know, what the right steps are. The first one, and it's the most important one, is preheat, preheat, preheat. You got to make sure this oven's preheated. Helps in the whole aspect of the whole process. Makes you cook pizzas faster. Makes you cook more efficiently. Less bumps in the road along. Okay, so look at our pizza oven right here. Now this is the gas just whether it be the gas or the wood fired it really needs to be preheated. Um, the correct temperature we want to be around 700 to 800 degrees for the most common pizza. So you know this has been on for probably about 45 minutes to an hour or so. So you know make sure we got that you know great heat. Now here super easy we just really turn the knob and fired when we talk about the gas fired pizza oven or the wood fired pizza oven we want to build the pile of wood in the very center and light it there and really keep it there for about 45 minutes to an hour so we really heat up these bottom tiles these tiles on the bottom are really where a lot of that heat absorbs those, those uh, you know reddish clay tiles so those heat absor absorbs and that really um, will make your pizza nice and crispy and crusty you get that leopard spotting on the bottom that's exactly what we want and if you find you know that your dough is sticking, that's probably one of the issues is it's not hot enough on the uh, on the very bottom. So and honestly, the ideal thing is to have a digital temperature. So if we hit the gun right here, wherever that red dot lies, you know, we can see 790, 800. We can see the actual temp where we're gonna put the pizza. And this really helps out when you're doing multiple pizzas and things like that. Sometimes you wanna rotate them around, but this will give you an exact temperature of that oven deck because, you know, the, the th thermostat is right here on the right, you know, depending on the day, the wind, you might get an offset in temperature. This is dead on. This will really help you, you know, figure out, you know, the exact temp inside your oven. So second on our list we always talk about is the dough. So I mean, the dough has a lot of moisture in it depending on what recipe you're using. It has a different um, you know, amount of water in it. I'd like the dough to sit out and really proof. You know, come to room temperature, get that chill off of it. You know, look at me putting my hand right into this dough. This dough is perfect. So it's really proofed up enough and we can make it and stretch our dough out. All right, number three is too much topping. So think about the size of your pizza, whether you're making a small or a large one. Think about the correct ratio of toppings. So many people put so many toppings that they can't even pick the pizza up to bring it over there. That causes the pizza to cook unevenly, and even some of the toppings will roll up in your pizza oven and start a flare up or a fire or a mess that we don't want to clean up. So in this aspect, with the toppings, less is more. You know what I mean? Cut your toppings a lot smaller. Don't use the big pieces or the big slices. Go with smaller pizzas as well. So think about that. Not overloaded with the topping, just a generous amount of sauce and make it work. So. And notice the size of mine, you know, we don't need those big pieces because if you use a big piece of mozzarella, it heats up in that oven, it's going to pull up and break up with that water and you're going to get spots of water in your pizza. We want crispy, crunchy, we don't want pools of water. For number four, you know, um, a lot of misconceptions people mess up all the time is they build their pizza on their pizza peel. Okay. Build a pizza on their pizza peel, and by the time they go to put it in the oven, it's already stuck because it took them so long to, you know, make the pizza. For the correction on this, we build the pizza right here on our board. You know, we make sure, like, if we pick it up, make sure we can glide it nice and easy, and we add a little semolina flour. If you have a problem with it, let's look at this semolina real quick. Nice and easy, a little bit goes a long way, but this is round. It's gonna make that pizza roll really nice. Spread a little bit on, even take a little bit off, but make sure just go like this. And next is the part, we're just gonna transfer the pizza to the board. Even if we mess it up, we can just re-top it, okay? So we'll just go over like this, grab it underneath, slide it over, put it closer to us, and now we'll fix our toppings, but most importantly, we'll stretch our dough. This is easy. Look at that. Now we're covering the whole pizzas, whole peel, I should say. And then we'll just stretch out our toppings a little bit. But this helps out because you didn't build the pizza on here. Now you have that nice glide. Look at that. That's perfect, okay? This is an ideal step, most commonly missed, all right? Number four, bringing out the heat gun because we're ready to cook this pizza. 
we want to look at the different zones right here. In the center is our hottest here. Of course, we get left here, we're over 900 degrees. So that's nice and hot. Over here is really where we want to be. We're hitting at, you know, 800 degrees. That's exactly where we want to be. Most common misconception, you know, people just fire it in. They don't know what side they're really using. They don't know if they want to go hot first or hot less. You know what I mean? You want to go right in the center, right where that stack is. So don't put it to the right or don't put it to the left in this aspect. We want to go right to the center. And that deals with another problem that customers have is how do we get it off the peel? Super nice and easy. Let's hold it with two hands far back. Let's be safe because, you know, they want to come in here. They want to hold it here or something like that. If you hold it here, you're going to burn your hand. We want you nice and safe. So put your hands back here at the long, longest part of the peel. We want to take it flat. Just go like this. Put it at a 45 and just give it a little shimmy and just pull it straight out. Look at that. Okay. Now everybody wants to start turning the pizza. You know, everybody gets fun and it's cool. It's like shaking the pan in the kitchen. Everybody wants to do that, but we gotta really let it go. And this is the turning peel. So this is the one that we really wanna pick it up and glide it across. So look at that dough. See how it's starting to puff on the edges? That's really what we wanna see. Once it puffs on the edges, you know, now it's gonna get rotated, but let's look underneath. And this is, look at that, it's already getting to that leopard spotting that we want. That's beautiful. And look, we don't have a lot of excess underneath that pizza. We have a little bit of front burn off, but that's just a little bit that was on the peel. But look at that pizza. Isn't that great? So next, we're going to take our peel like this, rotate it back. And look how nice that's looking already. So, pull this. And you just want to keep it in the center. We don't want to keep tossing it around. It's really, let the oven do the work. Less is kind of more on that, you know? But look at that, puffy, real good crust. Flip it around one more time. This is looking really good. This is perfect. This is perfect. And then you always want to check the bottom. Look at that, looks great, huh? Just a nice, easy way to do your pizzas. If, if you take the steps, you know, if you check the boxes and take the steps to preheat it, know the temperature, know your oven, and know your dough, this makes life a whole lot easier in the pizza world. So, let's see this. Look at that. Doesn't that look perfect? So that's a nice, easy way for some do's and don'ts on your pizza oven, okay? So if we really check the boxes, this will really make it nice and easy for you to do multiple pizzas, keep it running, and enjoy it. Hope you enjoy this video.